layout of a proof, a rhombus equals sides proof. All right, just like I always do in every video, I'm going to take a step back so you can see the board. We have our drawing like we should have. We've got our proof table with our statements on the left and our reasons on the right. We have the given, and we have the thing we're trying to prove. So, why is this triangle so drawn up like this? Well, when it first started out, this triangle originally, uh, this rhombus, I'm sorry, was originally just like this. But I ended up having to draw it up and color it up to explain this part. So imagine that we only have this. And this is how we're starting, okay? So let's look at our given. MP and NO, see, two red lines, and I know why they're there, are parallel to each other. MP, the red one over here, is congruent to the green one, MN. See? This is congruent to that one. MO bisects angle M. So, there was no bisector here, but that was a hint right here. This was a hint that we needed to make two triangles. See? Usually in the given or the prove, there'll be a hint if you need to draw a bisecting line through something. Through a lot of our proofs, we've had rectangles, triangles, squares, and when we were given them, we had hints and clues like this that told us that we needed to, you know, draw lines through them. The only way to do it is to really look at the given and the proof to see if there are clues that there's supposed to be a line. And that right there telling you that MO bisects it tells it, yep, we need to put a line there. So I did. Okay? So, our proof is that MP, the red one, is congruent to NO. We need to prove that these two are congruent. Okay? Now, the first thing we're going to do is, I'm going to get a better view here. So we have our drawing. An MP is parallel to NO is given. MP and NO are parallel is given. MN, the green line, is congruent to PO, the purple line. That's because parallel lines are equidistant making MN and PO equal in length. Okay? If those are parallel, then those are parallel. Okay? So now we've got the red one, MP, is congruent to MN. That's given. So that means MP and PO are congruent because if these are congruent, then these are congruent because of substitution. And if you don't know what that is, you can see video number 30. So now we can say that MO this bisecting line is congruent to itself, and that's the reflexive property. That's in video 27, if you don't know what that is. It's identity property, reflexive property of congruence. So it's saying that we have two triangles, and they're sharing this side, so it's congruent to itself. So we've proven that a side is congruent. So now we have two sides now that are congruent, and we're going to say that because MO bisects M, uh, angle M, which is given, that it splits the angle evenly, okay? So we got two sides and an angle that are now congruent because the definition of a bisector is that it splits it evenly, right? So now we're saying that this brown angle and this angle are congruent, okay? PMO and OMN are congruent, and that's the definition of a bisector. So now we can say that this blue triangle is congruent with the green triangle because of side, angle, side. We got two sides and an angle that are congruent. So now we can say, yeah, we got side, angle, side now. Once you have two congruent triangles, you can use CPCTC. If you don't know what that is, that's in video 112. It's con corresponding parts of congruent triangles are congruent. So we're saying if this triangle is congruent with this triangle, then MP has to be congruent to NO. 
sorry, it's getting fuzzy. Do you understand that if this triangle is congruent to this triangle, then MP has to be congruent to NO because of the corresponding parts of congruent triangles, and we've proven, proven that the triangles are congruent. That is the rhombus equal sides proof. Remember that we started with a blank rhombus and that it gave us a clue to bisect it, and that's what helped us solve it because now we had two congruent triangles. Our next video, number 136, is going to be a rhombus perpendicular diagonals proof. I hope you stay with me. See you then.